all right what is going on guys today we are reading one piece a chapter 1057 um my god it's been a while since i've uploaded a manga chapter video due to breaks uh obviously i was away on holiday for some time um so yeah just it, it, basically my last manga reaction video was in june i think i think the way it timed it was kind of crazy um yeah, God, I can't even remember what probably happened in the last chapter video. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to get straight on to it. I just woke up. Um, it's like 6 a.m. Uh, I just woke up every few hours checking when the chapter was released. But it's out now, um, so I'm very excited for it. Um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, guys, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And uh, let's go into this manga reaction right now. So, first page, we have a Uta chapter. Um... We haven't slept a wink. What are we going to do? Do that and you'll get a flogging from the whole crew. You always knock her out. Oh no, why is it reading? Oh god, why have I started reading left to right? My god. It's early. Why isn't the kid going to sleep? Who's the one quick crying? If he's screaming like a banshee, we could always knock her out. You want to get a flogging for the whole crew. <laughs> ben Beckman's like the mom of the, of the crew. Um... Who's this woman and who's this child? Uh, and and so another of Yuta's songs was born. Speak at the creation of the world where the wind blows concludes our look at the three specials Oda made on the origins of Uta's music. Okay. Right. Ah, so chapter 1057, a final curtain. Oh shit, Caesar's here, I remember. Oh, uh, and fucking category against um, Germa. Gemma 66 is Cold Blooded Voyage, Volume 16, Caesar's Poison Gas Attack. Hmm. Bing, bing, bing. A tale is being told in the capital. Dark clouds gather. A, stormy echo, a storm echoes through the sky, consuming Onigashima. The roar of the Azura dragon and the howls of the countless other beasts join the cacophony. Cacophony? Cassophony? Cacophony. A happy port, the scattered leaves of fall, a bleached ar arburn in the in the pattering rain. The stage is set for a tale of duty and honour. This is the story of the royal retainers and their quest to let Kozuki Odin's name shine once more. Yo! Many a hardship lie in wait, but they stay resulted to meet their fate. The Red Scabbards. As the evening of the fire festival starts to unfold, forest near Tugagi Port Udon. What? You're not heading out to sea? Yamato? Nope. I'm staying. What? I've already spoken to Luffy and the others about it. What? No. Why? Are you really content with this, Yamato? Aren't I welcome here? You are. We're just confused. A moment ago, you said you had you you had you had made up your mind. Oh, that. Well, Odin started his journey with a tour of Wano, right? I realize that realize there's so much out there that I don't understand, but I'm sure that I'll find my way if I follow in his footsteps, and I'm bound to make it out to sea sooner or later. Unbelievable! You were able to tell them all about this. Wait, you were able to tell them about all of this? That does it. They must have intentionally snubbed me. Why bid farewell to everyone but us? Your name? Your father was a fool of a lord. Identify yourself. I'm Luffy. So what if you're a warrior? I'm going to be king of the pirates one day. So there. Bah. Oh yeah? Well, one day I will be a, a, a anointed sh shogun of Wano. So take that, you halfwit. Big talk for an eel. <laughs> you're nothing but an ignorant ape. I remember this. this is so funny. What it what are you, Memo? Just some figurehead? Are you just gonna stand there and cry? I want to beat Kaido. Alright then, let's team up. It's an alliance. Luffy That's the spirit, Momo. You may be a cowardly jumped up top knotted brat, but you're right. Find a way to survive, you'll have we'll have your back. Don't forget, we're pals. I'll ask you one more time, boy. What is your name? Kozuki Mawonsuke. The man who will be Shogun of Wano. Go. You can fly. 
Right. Stop in a Gashina and it trucks. I will definitely beat Kaido. We may not have always gotten along, but we went through a lot together. Is he really that heartless? I was wrong about you, Luffy, you fiend. He is mistaking being free with free to be rude. Am I wrong, Yamon? Not at all. By the way, Momonsuke Sama, is there a reason we aren't flying? Quiet! Momonsuke Sama, you are the undisputed shogun of Wano now. Depending on Luffy Donner's words, I may have no choice but to cleave him apart from this. <laughs> okay, Yamon. For this slight. Exactly. That is the way of the samurai. I thought we were pals, Luffy. I think you're blowing this out of proportion. He humiliated, humiliated us. Overlooking this without giving a few blows and bites is out of the question. T Takagi poor Udon. Remember the next time we meet, it'll be his enemies. Don't whine to me if we're shooting to kill. Gotcha. See you around, Traff. Buzz off. What? Set sail. Bro. It's been so long. I mean, I, I was talking about this. Um, someone made a tweet about this the other day on Twitter. The... Um, you know, like we said that you know there was going to be an alliance, and then the alliance would end at some point. Um, and I said, and it just feel, and then they said it just feels weird. We've been with them for so long. Um, how could it ever go back to normal? I don't think it will go back to normal. I think with Luffy, the way you could see him right there, gotcha. Yeah, absolutely, it's going to go back to normal, of course. Um, they're friends. It's it's not going to change. I don't think, but. Also, it has only been like what a month, maybe ish, which is crazy to think about in the One Piece world since the Punk Hazard Alliance began. I think, like, that's kind of crazy. All this that's happened in the month or so. But yeah, uh, I don't think it'll go back to normal, even knowing that. Hey, hmm. Oh, you monsters! Hey, we've come to see you off. Mosuke, Kinemon, Yamato-chan. Yeah. Luffy, what? Got you. Luffy. Luffy, you bastard. What is the meaning of this outrage? How can you abandon the two comrades you have known the longest without a word? You have angered the Shogun. What do you have to say for yourself? What? What's the big deal? We're meeting now, aren't we? Luffy, this is an edict from the Shogun. Please don't leave. I'll be so lonely. <laughs> I want to be with you forever. It can't end like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. He's still a kid at heart. I only managed to survive because you were there. You're the reason I can laugh again. Thank you so much for avenging my father and my mother. You see, I can't even express pro myself properly now. I'm scared of what happens next. Please don't go. That's quite the pitiful sight. Cut him a break, he's still a little kid on the inside. What's up? Yeah, it's ready. What is this? We've been waiting all here all this time because I wanted to give you this. You can't play the tough Shogun with, with me, Momo. Even if you're a bit bigger now, I know what you're like on the inside. You're a small, weak dummy. But I think of you like a little brother. This is a... This is... It's a flag. When times are tough, look at it and remember you'll see it. See, seafaring adventures. Hang it up somewhere in Wano. If any major bad news comes knocking, just point them to it. I'll yes. I'll let them know that screwing with our friends is the same as screwing with us. Does that mean I am one of you, Kinemon, Yamato, Momo? If any of you ever want to be pirates, I'll come for you right away. Ah, oh, fuck, man. All right. <laughs> Just remember, I won't have any weaklings on board. Take care of him, Yamato. Yes. Let's go. Keep it together, Shogun. Good luck, Mosuke. Kinemon? Yes. Mark my words. Someday I will surpass Kazuki Odin. I will be by your side when you do. You talking about me? No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucking love Yamato. Alrighty, let's set course for Hakami. The main port is there. I was told there's a lift there that can lower ships down. You. Of course, since we scaled a waterfall to have to get here, we'd have to fall down or to leave. Me too, thank goodness. 
watch the list not going to work and they're going to have to go down the waterfall. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. You guys would use the main port. It's the safe and sound way after all. <laughs> Fucking kid is so competitive. Perfect for you, wusses. Safe and sound. Oh my god, they're going to throw down the fucking waterfall. <laughs> no, Luffy. Being safe is good. Don't let him get to you. Hang on, Captain. What is that face? We all think the main port is better. I like how fucking law. I like how it's even got to law. That's hilarious. Jinbei, give me the helm. Luffy, don't. Stop it. Take this. <laughs> No, we're all going to die. The might of the outlaws, recruited by Lord Mwansuke and Kiamon, made them akin to real-life wisdom kings. Their power descended like a wraithful tsunami, obliterating all in its path. Even Kaido the Dragon King and the yokai-possessed giant Oren, Oren failed to withstand their assault. The heavens themselves were torn as painful shrieks reverberated through the air. During the chaos, during the chaos, Princess Hyori was accosted by Orochi, the snake that seemingly, seemingly perished in the flames, in a desperate last-ditch attempt for his spiteful vengeance. His gambit was thwarted by a single slash, and who owns that blade that separated Orochi from his final cursed head? Why none other than Kozaki Odin's second discipline, uh, sorry, disciple Denjiro. With, with his last wand detached and burning. The twisted Kurozumi was at long last brought to his knees. Bam bam. And then a flash of lightning marked the fall of Onigashima, and with it, the fall of the Dragon King Kaido. The sun had finally sat the sun had, had finally pierced the dark clouds that were suffocating one for twenty long years. The skies were clear. Sounds from the ignorant masses celebrating the fire festival in the capital, cr capital crept into their ears. Then suddenly, defying all reason, the burning remains of Orochi spoke. The Kurozumi family's grudge shall continue to curse this rotten land generation after generation for all eternity. But Princess Yori refused to flinch or shudder. She held her gaze. The country's twenty years worth of torturous memories fueled her heart. Stand back. It's too dangerous, Yori sama cried the samurai Denjiro. But she crushed, brushed aside his hand. Our pr beloved princess would not yield a single step. Staring into Orochi's devilish face, she delivered a, a damning epitaph. Her fan held aloft, the Kazuki crest proudly dancing on its edge. No longer having to bite her tongue like she did for the last twenty years, she cried out, Father, mother, brother, and our homeland, hear this. This is the moment I've been waiting for. We all know the name's meaning. <laughs> We all know the names mean charcoal, so all together now. The Kurazumi were born to burn. And now time slides ahead to the day after the festival. Where feuds, the, where feuds and weapons can finally rest. A shocking truth is revealed. At the port where the reversed crescent moons meet. The denouement of the violent saga is a joyous reunion. This guy's words are beating my ass at 6 am, just saying. The blood spilt in order to revive this clan will never be forgotten. A record of their sacrifices will always be carried by the wind. This part of Uragu is a reference to a novel. <sighs> uh, Shin Sesugumi Blood and Record. That concludes today's tale on our nation's renowned, renowned samurai. Um, is everyone here? Uh, Yamato. That's so cute. Everybody's here. Um, and how miraculously uh, they miraculously returned to us. Monsuke Sama, Shogun Sama. With that, I think a well earned break is in order. Now, where shall we hang this flag? Till we meet again. Farewell. Final curtain. Inherited will and never fades. Chapter 1057 ends. Oh my god. Uh, and that is the end of Wano, it would seem. Man, what a final chapter. I love that. I love the way that ended with Luffy. Him declaring that Wano is under his protection. 
Oh, that's so fucking good, man. He's he's really a real emperor. I can't believe it. I've been waiting for this. I've also been like, I think I don't know. I think I said it in a manga reaction video some time ago. I've been waiting for Luffy to put Wano under his protection. And I have also been waiting for Luffy to put Fishman Island under his protection. So I hope that will happen at some point. I think have we seen in one of the cover pages already. The Fishman Islands already using Luffy's flag. I can't remember. I think they're already like there was already like uh, straw hats and stuff being passed around on the island, but I can't remember if there was, if there was a flag up yet. But the fact that this is happening, oh, it's so fucking amazing to see, man. He's like he's an actual emperor. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I'm really happy with Wano. I couldn't fault it in any way. And I'm really looking forward to what the next arc uh, brings. I really hope it's Elbaf, to be honest. I'm really looking forward to that. I don't know what other islands could be a part of our future now. Um, yeah, I really want to see an adventure island. We've had so many arcs that have led up to the point of the um, the Emperor Saga. I don't know what's going to happen now. I'd, I just really love a, an adventure island. Just something to discover. Um, something that fits in with the story. We've always wanted to see Elbaf. Usopp's wanted to see Elbaf. I think a, chat, a whole arc surrounding your part of Usopp would be amazing. I mean, obviously we had that in like Annie's lobby as well, but yeah, I'd be really, really fucking hyped for Elbaf or, you know, whatever Oda's to come. We don't have any specific objective now. It's back to the One Piece, I'd say. Um, maybe something will cut in with Sabo. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe Vivi. Um, something will come there. I'm, I don't know, but um, damn, that flag is huge, and I'm looking at it. Yeah, just oh, I'm so so excited to see what comes next. No break next week, I don't think. Um, so that's a good thing. That's great. One more thing. Um, in the last chapter, we had Carrot. Uh, was told that she was going to lead Wano, and on that, not Wano, Zo. Um, she seemed to agree to it. However, I think, and with a lot of people's theories as well, she may, because we don't see her anywhere here uh, in this chapter. Then we don't see the other members of Zoe either, I don't think. Apart from Nakamashi and Dog. Dog. <laughs> um, so maybe, um, my thinking is she's going to sneak, sneak on the ship. I'd hope she would. Because the fact that we're not getting Yamato or Carrot on the ship after all this, and we have Jinbei, you know, one of his brothers, Jinbei, which makes me very, very happy. Um, was he here in this uh, final picture, actually, Jinbei? Um, where is he? He's probably at the helm. I can't see him. Oh, wait, I think he's like that little silhouette up there. Um, yeah, I think Carrot's going to sneak on the ship. I'd love that. Because at least we get one new person of the two people that have been theorized as being on the crew for the past however many years. Um, but yeah, overall, very, very happy with Wano. Very much looking forward to the next arc. And it's coming next week, probably. God, god damn. I can't believe we're getting... There's no break next week. The, chat, the arc's going to change. Yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. I hope you guys enjoyed the arc as much as I did. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.